Aloha everyone, it's your boy Alan, coming back at you with a brand new I Dream of Indie review. Today we're taking a look at Brunch Club, developed by Foggy Box Games and published by the Yogscast. This title was recently released on the Nintendo Switch as well as the PS4 and was already available on the Xbox Live and Steam. Brunch Club is a frantic physics-based party game. Conceptually, this sounds like an interesting concept, as it's a mashup of quick mini-games and quirky physics-based controls made popular by such games as I Am Bread, Quap, Mount Your Friends, or Octodad. The thing here, though, is all those other games executed on this concept much better than what we got here with Brunch Club. Now, I'm not saying that this adventure is bad. It actually does have a bunch of fun elements to it. The main complaint here, though, is that a lot of these mini-games are more frustrating than fun. And I get that with physics-based games, half the fun is the challenging controls. And I'll be the first to admit that I'm not a huge fan of Quap or I Am Bread, so I'm not exactly this game's target audience. Despite this, though, I found the quirky controls in I Am Bread to be a bit of fun to work with, and I was able to quickly adapt to the way the physics worked in that game. But in Brunch Club, I found specific minigames and entire game modes just completely infuriating, as the controls just weren't on par with other games in this genre. Any minigame that involved putting toast into a toaster was an immediate 5-minute exercise in frustration, as the physics just didn't cooperate or weren't consistent enough to be repeatedly completing the same task over and over. To me, this isn't a learning curve issue, as repeating the same exact mechanics just didn't yield the same results consistently. In a genre that is about exploiting the physics of objects, this is a major thing that has to be correct in order to be enjoyable. Minigame after minigame, I found myself getting frustrated as objectives were either unclear or the physical properties of objects just didn't operate consistently. Having said that, I did enjoy quite a few of the minigames, though. The sashimi minigame reminded me of Katamari Damashi, as I rolled around a ball of rice picking up objects, and I had a blast with that. And the grilling minigame was a lot of fun to navigate. But otherwise, I found myself wanting to rage quit over fighting with inconsistent physics throughout most of my time with this title. Now, the crux of this game is the multiplayer. And from a hypothetical standpoint, I could see this game being a really good time. For a home console user, that is. This title supports local multiplayer, and on Steam it is also supposed to support remote play. The keyword here is supposed to. I reached out to multiple friends on Steam to get some multiplayer footage for the review, and just to test out the multiplayer features, but after several attempts with several different people, we just couldn't connect. Multiple restarts later and we all just gave up. It's a shame too, as I could see this being a fun party game, at least on the console. However, for PC gamers, if we're honest, there are far better options available at your disposal. The visuals are nice. I actually did enjoy the graphics, and the aesthetic was pleasing, and it fit the genre quite well, and the music, while repetitive, is catchy and enjoyable. I did find the pop culture theme level references, such as Fry Hard and Fry Hard with a Vengeance, to be entertaining, and despite the inconsistent controls, I did have some fun with this one. If you like what you see here, and you own an Xbox, a Switch, or PS4, then this will satiate your physics-based gaming fix. If you're on the PC, there are better alternatives. That being said, this game certainly has its audience, and while it was not my cup of tea, don't let my experience necessarily ruin it for you. So if it does look interesting to you, then definitely check this one out. As always, this is Alan, here with I Dream of Indy, saying sayonara until the next review. My dream of Indie's goal is to give a voice to the voiceless in gaming. If you want to see more Indie content, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and stay tuned to youtube.com slash idreamofindie for daily content uploads.